see that it's pretty windy this morning. Coming out of the west? Looks like it may be. I've not referred to the internet yet this morning to see what the predictions are. I was just gonna walk outside and get a, a visual feel for it. Let's see, we got buzzards? What's he doing? Let's see. Yeah, this guy's got a nice gentle thermal and he's circling in it. It just got him a slow climb going on. The wind's blowing pretty good, so he's drifting along with the thermal. Oh, look at these dudes. I see a whole bunch of them out here now. They're out there circling in a big thermal. I just kind of looking to see how high they're going, if they're falling out of it, how fast they're going up. I'm evaluating what the air's doing by watching how the birds are moving in it. That's the kind of flying we're doing, man. We're doing bird flying with these paragliders. The bigger picture helps you determine what's coming, but you're looking, you know, across the street, not across the state. Man, everybody's skying out. Yeah, we got some swallows bouncing around. They, they hunting. My hands are getting cold just standing out here in the winds. I think what I'm gonna do is load up the paramotor and bring it with me, and I'm gonna drive over there to the RC field. I'll let it warm up. I'll probably do an afternoon flight there. Whenever it gets right, if I don't get too drunk, Gizmo gonna get got by the buzzards. So the wind is banging out here in North Louisiana. Super thermally day. Uh, gusts are coming in strong and hard. I'm just not interested. Family time! This is Ian, y'all. We've got to find him a mini wing of some sort. What you got? Let me know. We got to get this boy hooked up with a glider. He's already reached viable pilot weight. So we're looking for an extra small, small, mini, something in that range. Preferably something we could both use. A speed wing for me and a learn to fly wing for him and a kiting tool for future students. Yeah, I think I'm gonna offer up some instruction. So Ian probably gonna be my first student. We're gonna teach him how to fly. You didn't put that in the movie, did you? <laughs> <laughs> so you, they telling me you big on YouTube, huh? That's what I hear. Put all your videos and stuff on it? A lot of them, yeah. yeah. Flying along talking. Really? I make them public. But you got that backup parachute, right? It's in the back seat. Oh, that's a good place for it, Kyle. I don't plan on getting high enough to wow. use it tonight. Like, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a forward launch. There. Yeah. Cut to the next video, my my battery for my GoPro, wherever I was at on that last flight, I think it was at the remote control airfield. Well, that video apparently was just a bust. While I was out there, I received the call. One of our good friends' house burned to the ground right then while I was at the uh, remote control airfield. And I had to sort of abort any sort of extra video. So that video got cut short. And that lost everything in this fire. It, it burned to the ground. But while the sun's out, I'm gonna go over here and take some photos from the air, you know, as a memory to them, you know, a different perspective, take a photo from above. There's a good bell out right across the street. So I'm not sweating the safety margin too bad. Just sort of threw the helmet in the wing in the truck. I was gonna try to, try to go get it done. Reserve. Let's get this show on the road. That's not exactly right. Let's get this show in the air. That'll work. Mic check, mic check. Yep. Got a rowdy air going on. Yeah, man. Friend's house burned to the ground. Man, it makes me sad. His wife is like my wife's best friend from all, all time. Oddly enough, I was uh, on the phone with their oldest son. He called me up, wanted to come over and use my gun range so that he could sight in his deer rifle. His gun burned up. He said he had just hung up the phone with me. Maybe a minute after he hung up with me was when he pulled up at the house. It was on fire. He was the one that found it. Pretty wild stuff. Pretty wild. I said it was a nice bailout over there. It's a bailout. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of altitude to get back to this one just until I can evaluate it and see if there's any power lines and such. Now, I should have looked at it while I was over there, but I was so distraught over seeing the the total devastation that they were going through. I forgot to check my uh, bell out over here from the ground. The frame of mind is good enough that I can fly. Oh, tally ho, I got traffic over here. What is that? Airplane, helicopter. I wonder where he's going. Headed south. Yeah, it looks like we got plenty of room. I see where the uh, power poles are. Yeah, I could just damn near put it in his yard. Yeah, there it is. It's just a hollow shell of a house. Terrible turbulence. And I got one hand on the controls. My phone's not tethered. 
but I still want to get some good photos. But I do have a proper bailout out here. It's awesome. Golly, man, it just makes me feel ill for them. Two-story log house burned up. See a lot of debris falling out of the sky. That's a sign that it was uh, good thermally today. Oh, wow, good visibility. I can see the buildings over in Shreveport, Bossier. Oh, it's falling back up. I don't know where my tethers went. Everything got damn scattered in the wintertime yet. Probably had some deer hunters shoot at me at some point. A lot warmer today than it was yesterday. Next thing I'm noticing is my idle is real low. Man, the weather changes screws up these carburetors. I mean, it's always been kind of a normal thing, but the weather is usually pretty stable here. It's hot, muggy, humid. You set it, and it may only need a minor tweak, but this time of year, you know, you'll have one day hot and humid, one day cold, dense, and dry, and they're just flip-flops back and forth, constant state of adjustment on these things. We hadn't really got any fall colors going on either. I see a lot of my northern brethren have some uh, pretty stuff happening up there as far as the foliage. I always kind of get a kick out of it. Oddly enough, I don't get to fly this time of year for some reason very much. See the wind socks still wiggling around just a little bit? Where's the airplanes at? Find the planes, find the planes. Kill it. Do a little spot landing over here by the truck. Pretty close, quick and dirty. I'm gonna uh, fold it up, pack it in, go back over there and see what else I can do to help my friends out. Right now they just excavating, picking, picking what they can, you know, keepsakes and things. I just couldn't imagine. Man, my heart goes out to anybody who's ever been through a house fire. I've known a few people. It's always just a mess. It's such a mess. Golly. Anyway, hey, thank you again for the support. My YouTube channel, I've gotten like just over a hundred dollars now, so that's a good thing. Never considered I'd make money on this thing. Appreciate the support. That's cool. All right, y'all. Much love for the fans. Kyle out. <laughs>